Okay, this is one of my favorite um, crawdad patterns. So I'm going to start out with my hook in place. I'm going to go ahead and undo the weed guard for now. And the first thing I do is I attach my eyes at the bend of the hook. And it gets a little bit in the way there, the weed guard, but it should be okay. So I'm just going to use these barbell eyes. You can use whatever kind of barbell eyes you want. And with this gel spun thread it works really nice because you can cinch these eyes down tight. Okay, now in addition to the eyes right there at the back I'm going to tie in my legs or my claws, however you want to look at it, and I'm going to use some skirt material. And I take four or five fibers and I'm just going to fold them in half and tie them right in at the eye. So that we got our skirt material going out that way. And then for the body, the bulk of the body, I'm going to use some variegated orange and olive chenille. Trust me, this color here is crawdad, I don't know what it is, but fish are on crawdads, trout, bass, you name it. They This color is, is phenomenal. And so I'm going to go ahead and tie this color of uh, chenille in. And I actually like to wrap it around up in between my legs to kind of spread those out like so. Okay, and I'm just going to move my thread forward and wrap the chenille to the front. All right, now I'm going to turn the fly upside down. And I'm going to add a little bit of color on the underside, get it, give it a little bit more body shape. And for this, I'm going to use pearl web from the Fly Tires Dungeon. Now, this crowd, I'm, ac I'm actually making the color a little more orange, brighter orange, to kind of differentiate it. You can mix and match the colors. I do these in all sorts of olives and, and more of a dark craw color. Um, it just needs to match whatever color of crawdad you're trying to imitate, what phase they're at. So I'm just going to cut some of this pearl web off, and I'm going to tie this in on the inside, on the underbody, sorry. And I'm going to go ahead and leave that off and trim it right over the eye of the hook. Again, this is more just for body and kind of, of uh, shape and color, okay? And then, one of the things that I like that makes this fly effective is the way that I'm going to tie in the legs or the, the strips. So, I'm going to turn this back over and I'm going to grab two pine squirrel zonked crawdad orange strips. And the way I do this is I'm going to tie these in right at where the tail would be but what happens is that these are going to move a lot more in the water than if I just tied them right here as claws. So it's, it's not an exact imitation of a crawdad, but the way it moves in the water is just phenomenal. So I just tie these in right there. Again, I just get the length, though. So if, you know, if there are, they would be about the same as the claws and the stuff I tied in at the eye. Again, it's more of an imitation, uh, suggestive. It's not an exact imitation. And I'm going to cinch these down. Okay. And again, those are going to go back. The, the way the fly will sit, of course, is upside down. And so you can see that these will, will uh, flap freely once this fly is moving through the water. And because it's weedless with this wire weed guard, it's not going to foul. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tie in a little fantail. And what I'm going to use is some really bright orange foam. And the thing that this does is that you get this end of the fly with the barbell eyes that's going to be relatively heavy. This end of the fly is going to be buoyed up by the foam, so you, you get a lot of movement as this thing goes in the water. Couple that with these legs going up and down, and it's a really, really good pattern for uh, when you've got crawdads in the water. So I'm just going to tie this little fantail piece on.
yeah, like so. Nothing fancy. And I'll go ahead and whip finish this. And we're done. So again, very simple tie, very effective when it comes to fishing crawdads. It's a great pattern if you've got crawdads in the water.